celebratory treat. Less practical. Last week, I was assigned my first batch of patients. Had 11 finals. Cereal that's easy to run. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. It is so early right now. It's hard for me to put my words together. I'm vlogging today though, it's Monday, because this is my last practical of dental school. Like, technically, I guess. I think we still have some practicals when we're preparing for boards, like practice boards fourth year, but generally speaking, this is my last practical of dental school because I will move into clinic in a couple weeks in May, right in finals weeks now for the end of my second year of dental school. So it is very early, 6 a.m. We have to be set up for the practical by like 7 30 so we get on the bus at 7 a.m. for sim lab we're doing a temporary bridge of 19 through 21 just a girl on her way to her last practical of dental school just in time all set up I'm searching for the heart that I cannot find no matter how long I'm going I feel there's only one I'm like so maybe I'll keep on pushing Myself back into the light Cause I need her love I need all her love We had a river that was rolling But then the waves came crashing down Maybe I was too controlling But I was nearly about to drown well, Come on, forgive me, baby Cause I need you now I need all your love I'm usually one of the first people done with practicals so I think I was either the first maybe the second I don't know it seemed like I might have been the first one back there but you guys saw how it turned out I was really happy with it it was definitely my best one yet I told you that I'd had the ones that we practiced in class were just like not that great I was struggling with them but today went really smoothly I only had to make one and I was happy with it you have two hours and two and a half hours or something if my first one was really bad I could have just like kept making them till I liked it but it saved time and is more realistic to just go with the first one. So I'm glad that I'm done. I'm going to head home. It is 9.30. I'll be back here at 12 for an ASDA board meeting. It's reasonably warm for once. It's like 46. So I'm going to walk home. This is the little courtyard area. So when it is nice out, people like sit out here to eat and stuff. And this is where we usually have our student organization fair. Like there's tables all around here. In September time, I got myself a bagel from the school cafe as a little celebratory treat. And I'll have that and some coffee at home. Hopefully study for finals, hopefully not just sit around. But even if I do sit around, it's okay. I have time still to prepare. Our final is at 11 a.m. tomorrow, I think, and I have a workout class tonight and one tomorrow morning, so I'm super excited. Well, my bagel is gone. I obviously was hungry. I didn't even get footage of it for you guys. My group chat for board was just texting and they want to meet at 11 instead of 12, which is fine with me, but that means I have to leave here soon. So I am going to finish making the coffee and drink that. And I'm also making lunch, just some pasta with chicken sausage while I'm still waiting for my HelloFresh for the week to get delivered. Trying to save money. So like last week 
we had all that ASSA stuff going on in the evening and different club things and lunch and learn, so I really didn't need food. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is 6.40 a.m. and I'm about to head out to go to a bar class. A little bit of my night, it was just studying and then the yoga class and then dinner and more studying. So that's why I didn't really pick up the camera, but today is the final at 11 a.m. at school. I'm gonna go to this bar class till eight and then study for like two hours at the Starbucks nearby and then come back here and go to school for the final. Logging on to our remote desktop right now. I think I showed you guys took the final. Final didn't go great, unfortunately. I passed just barely. I mentally moved past that already because that class is over. I came back and made some HelloFresh lunch. It was a salmon. And then we had our nutrition Zoom and I did the assignment for that. I did our weekly quiz for medically compromised patients and I started my studying for the day of our diagnostic sciences class. We have five modules on the final. So today I wanted to do all of the prep work for module one, but I got distracted because I scheduled a friend for an appointment with me at the school. So then I was looking at all of my other patients and last week I was assigned my first batch of patients. I had about 14 on my list and now I have up to 20. So I'm gonna go through and look at the Axiom portal for those patients with our remote desktop system. I obviously can't ever show you guys anything that has to do with patients because of HIPAA, but I'm going to look up all of the patient numbers which I was given, look at when their last exam was, when their last cleaning was, what their next visit is supposed to be for at the most recent treatment note, just get a feel for like the age of the patient, look at the odontogram, see kind of what's going on generally, and try to pick the overdue patients, possibly call my first real patient and try to schedule them, which is scary to have to and get to speak to a stranger patient because you have to just introduce yourself that you're their new provider at the dental school and this whole thing and like they don't know who you are or why you're calling, which I think is what makes it awkward. Like they're not anticipating talking to you is what makes it awkward. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. I'm about to go to lab in like 10 minutes here with Amanda. It's 7.20. Lab starts at 8. It's our last sim lab of the year because we had our practical, but we still do a couple assignments today. Yesterday I called the patient. Actually, I called three patients. Two voicemails I left and one person picked up, so I got one official patient scheduled as well as my friend, so that was really cool. It went better than I thought. It's just talking to someone. I don't know. I was like nervous, but then it was no big deal. Then I studied a little bit, also kind of just hung out and relaxed, and we went to Pizza House for an ASDA event, and then we came back here. I had my podcast guest with Josie Dental. She is about to graduate from Marquette's Dental School, probably already did by the time you see this, but let's go through Wednesday. It is bagel day. Every Wednesday is free bagels and coffee at the university, so that's always exciting. <music> I'm back from school with my free bagel and coffee. This is what I want to do today. I already crossed off my bar class and my meeting. That's 6.30 to 8.30. I just need to turn in the assignments that we did in lab today. I'm not even showing you guys because they're not correct. I didn't really know what to do and they were just for completion. So I just kind of did something and I'm submitting it. <laughs> so not worth showing you guys. And then I'd want to double check. I have everything done for our practice management class. 
and then I have one more quiz to take for medically compromised patients and then I want to finish module one and module two today as well as take a final on canvas. The final is in a class that's like advanced restorative, like crowns, composites, first amalgam, like critical thinking through treatment plans and scenarios, like which material you would use based on evidence-based research. So that's what the final's in, but we didn't really have to like study because we do case discussions every week and then the final is unlimited attempts. So it's a question bank, so you're not gonna get the same questions every time. So I finished everything for that practice management class already. I just double checked it, and then I took the final for the restorative class and the last quiz for medically compromised patients, and I went through the Anki for diagnostic module one, and now I'm just doing the podcast for Monday. It's a guest episode. So we're already on episode 106, which is crazy. Noon, basically, so four hours until bar class. So we'll see what else I'll get done. All right, in all honesty, I probably wouldn't have picked up the camera normally in this kind of a situation. I'm, I'm okay, like, let me preface it. Everything's all right, especially now, but about like an hour and a half ago. Super, super anxious, not particularly for any reason. I just get that way when I don't feel like I'm doing something that I should be. I watched half of module two and then was like, oh, I have so much time till bar. I could take a nap if I want, not a big deal. Well, that led me to kind of spiral and while trying to take a nap, I like kept coming in and out of sleeping so it wasn't even restful. I'm sure this, a lot of you can relate to this. So that's why I wanted to share it, but it made me way more anxious and I just wasn't in the mindset to do school. I didn't feel like I have to. Like, that's not really why I was anxious. Like, oh, these tests are coming up so soon because they're not. It's not till Monday. So I don't have that, like, incentive to really, really, really study yet. So it was hard for me to want to review the content. But what I did instead, I got up, I walked around for a minute, got some more water, and then I edited a video because that's something that I love. It's a hobby of mine, something that makes me happy, makes me feel fulfilled. So if it was nice out, I probably would have went for like a walk or something. That usually helps me a lot too, but it's storming today. And it is 4.03 right now and my bar class is at 4.30. I'm much better now in the past like 30 minutes. The first little bit of editing still, I was not feeling great, but drinking water, editing really made me feel better. And knowing that I get to go to this workout class, then I have those meetings this evening that's at school, gets me out of the house. If you're dealing with that at all, just know you're not alone and I encourage you to try to do something that makes you feel fulfilled. Something that gets your mind stimulated, gets your body stimulated, something of the sort. For me today that was editing a video. Okay, I only have a few minutes to like cook and everything now that I'm back, but I just got a package I wanted to show you guys. So, so cute. I ordered appointment cards, business cards for a clinic. Not essential, out of your own pocket, but I just know that like especially the elderly patients, they appreciate like a physical reminder you could obviously just like write it on a sticky note but i just think it looks sleeker and it really wasn't very expensive so i designed them on canva and they come packaged so cute i'm gonna have to cover up my contact info from you guys but the front i wanted white and i picked a material that's easy to write on so on the front i would just like write like april 12th 11 a.m appointment the school's address my graduation year and just name again and then the cell phone's actually interesting. I don't know if I said this yesterday when I was mentioning calling patients, but we use Google Voice. So it's not even my personal phone number, but it still connects to my phone, so I don't want to put that on the internet for you guys. And if you ever want to email me with questions, it's haleyschultz.business at gmail.com. Or you can message me on Instagram at haleyschultzdental, but I don't really give out my school one. Good morning. It's actually Monday already. So Justin came to visit Thursday night, and then we celebrated Easter yesterday. I honestly just studied all weekend. His friends and stuff were visiting for the holiday weekend as well, so he got to like go out with them, golf and whatnot. And I just sat at home and studied. That's what you gotta do during finals. I took my oral surgery final last night. I passed it, it was a low score, but still passed and I'm glad that another test is over and it was a tough class. Today is definitely what I think to be like our hardest final. It's in diagnostic sciences where we have to just read descriptions of like patient cases and try to diagnose them or give differential diagnoses or treatments or like what pr drug you would prescribe and stuff. So it's a lot of information to know. One of my classmates sent this really helpful like study guide chart. So it has like 
a picture, the name, the description, the treatment, um, and then any other identifying factors, but that's 30 something pages. So that tells you like how many conditions and lesions and stuff we have to know. So I'm excited to get that over with. I'm pretty nervous. So that's just the update for now for Monday. I'm gonna go take that test in like an hour. It's at 9 a.m. today and it's eight right now. So I'm just about to eat and then head into school so that I'm kind of settled and can just review and not feel rushed. All right, I'm about to leave the house. When we got back from the exam, I've just been sitting on our couch out there in the living room and reviewing for peds which is our last exam on Thursday. I watched two units. I watched one on oral surgery for peds, so like extracting teeth. And then I also watched one on nitrous oxide sedation. So I have like four left to rewatch for that class as my studying. And then we have practice tests. So that's gonna kind of encompass my review for peds. And then I was also calling some patients. I have one patient left that's overdue that I haven't called, but all the other overdue patients I have called and scheduled or called and at least they have a voicemail. I'll follow up in a few weeks, but I do have a full schedule our second week and then two of my three slots are full for our first week, so that's good. We only get to schedule three patients a week and then we can bring people in on like a 24-hour rule if there's availability or you could also be on like an override wait list for patients that no show and then you get a chair but ideally you know you want your patients on the normal schedule so you're guaranteed a chair and they can plan ahead and everything currently at 2 30 i was gonna start studying for medically compromised patients but he just sent us this lovely announcement saying that he's making our final online open note at home so i'm not gonna study for that one which is great so we have one that's also like open note at home for occlusion and then we have medically compromised patients now open note at home and then i took one today for diagnostic so of the six that were left, only three I need to study for, which is dentures tomorrow, nutrition on Wednesday, and peds on Thursday. So the rest of today, I'm going to study for the one that's tomorrow, of course. It's not until 3 p.m. tomorrow, though, so I have tonight and tomorrow to study. Okay, I promised you guys that I would round off this video. I had a clip before this, like, when most of my finals were done, and I cut a lot of that out just because I figured it would be better now to reflect on everything like now that it's all totally over. I know this video is long, so I'm going to make this short and sweet, but we had 11 finals. The first week we had a practical, which I'm not even counting in the 11, and I got my grade BRAC on that bridge, and I got an A and A minus, because you get graded for the abutment teeth and then the pontic in the middle, and so I got like A's and an A minus, I think. And I also got my hair cut. If it looks shorter than the other clips, I got my hair cut Thursday of the finals week as well. So that's gonna be something different. I finished with all, like I have, I made a little sheet. I'm nerdy like that of each class. So I knew like how my grade would be depending what my different scores on my finals were. And I finished with an A in medically compromised patients, B plus in diagnostic, B in oral surgery, A minus in nutrition, B minus in periotherapy, A minus in pediatrics, and a B in RPD. And then I got an A plus in our sim lab class. And I think that's most of the classes. I think we had almost like 12 or 13 though. So there's also like the assisting class that I should have an A in because I met all my requirements. Occlusion was pass fail, so I passed that. And I think that's pretty much everything for the at least academic recap. And then there'll be a few other videos up on my channel. In the next couple weeks, I'm doing that like reacting to predictions of my second year and then giving new predictions for my third year video. And then I also did an end of semester Q&A. So you can look forward to those in the next couple uploads. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when they're posted. And then we will be back for more vlogs of my third year and starting with patients. So, so crazy. Thank you all for being here throughout this journey and I look forward to sharing more videos. <laughs>